Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently attacking Persia and of course Russia decided to join in and of course we have this small rebellion. It's not a big deal although our infamy is rather high. We're not really caring about our infamy to be honest. At this point I really don't think we have a reason to care about infamy. We're just gonna go nuts most likely from here on out. We don't have that much left, longer left in the game. Only like 16 years so... It's not going to be that much longer, and we can absolutely go a bit ham. I want to conquer Persia here. That's going to get us some decent resources to work on. We're, of course, working on some railways in the meantime. How are things going on that? That looks acceptable. I don't think there's any real issues there. We're, of course, running a small deficit right now, but that's with our taxes on low, so that's not shocking. Seems completely okay. Currently expensive is wood and iron. We're going to be getting, I think, some of both of those. So that's great. Nobody's actually making any moves on the Russian front. And how are these battles going? We are winning, and we are winning. Wonderful. Of course, this is going to be over very soon, and these guys will move over to reinforce possibly this front. That'll be fine. So with Persia being finished up here, we're going to be getting all of Persia. That's great. The main thing keeping us from conquering in this game is infamy. And if we don't care about infamy, then it's just fine. We're the number two population worldwide. The only other one is China. And China's not actually powerful, right? Like, if you look at this, they have no army power projection. So we can definitely start breaking into China if we wanted to. As Prussia already has, I see. That's exciting. For the time being, we are definitely going to be seeing this capitulate soon. That was an interesting zoom there. Took it a hot second to load, but that's fine. Herbert Kitchener has moved, and he is indeed moving over to this front, which is exactly where I, where I expected and wanted him to be. But yeah, we're just, at this point, we're hard stat checking Russia. That's what's going on right now. So that's absolutely great. We are delighted about that. We're not attempting to push into Russia over here because there's absolutely no reason to do it. We're just holding this line just in front of the Caucasus. So that is wonderful. And all we need to do here is take over Persia. It will be a bit of a grind through these mountains, especially with the support from Russia. However, I think we might be about to cut that off. Potentially. Okay. These guys down over here have capitulated. Perfect. The real question is, how interested is Russia in actually still being in this war? They're a non-negotiating participant. They've got 63 war support. Okay. We're going to be, of course, pressing all of these war goals. Obviously, Persia's not into this. They'll come around. So this battle is wrapping up. Is that going to cut this off into two fronts? That's my question. It does. It does cut it into two fronts. So I want to have these guys come over here and advance this front. There is access through... What is this? The Caspian? I forget what this lake is called. It says something here. Yeah, the Caspian. Fantastic. Fantastic. So that is absolutely great. We're going to, of course, push our way up through here nice and quickly. So taking this state here would be reasonably good for us. I don't know if they can actually supply over this lake. That would be interesting if they could. I don't know. I do not know. But we have this land bridge eliminated. That is alone a pretty big deal. Wait a second. What's going on over here? Okay, this is Austria. This is not us. It just looks vaguely similar to our flag. Cool. It is actually different. For us colorblind people, it can be kind of difficult to tell the differences here with the small the small portrait. <laughs> but there is a difference. That's not going against us. Good to know. So that's absolutely fine. We're going to continue to press in over here. At this moment, we actually just unlocked military aviation. We got the first flight achievement. Okay, be the first nation in the world to fly aeroplanes. In 1920? Okay. The world is slackers. Got it. That's 
very exciting. <laughs> Look, I'm a bird. So that's fine. We are going to grab... At this point, I'd like to come over and grab, say, concrete fortifications. That'd make it pretty hard to push past us. Yeah, do it. That'll be fine. Now, eventually, we're going to want to bump our reconnaissance up to aerial reconnaissance. For that, of course, we're going to need aeroplanes. Now, that does mean that we're going to need war machine industries. So let's see what we've got for lab labor. The Niger Delta, that seems fine. I'm going to queue up 51 here. And then in Midlands, I'm going to queue up another 51. And then in Moonster, I'm going to do another 51. And then in East Anglia, another 51. That's it for now. We're going to do just that. Now, we know that each one of these is going to, to eat up three infrastructure usage per level. So we're going to call that 154. We're going to call that four infrastructure for each location here. So we're going to need, in the Niger Delta, one, two, three, four. Actually, I'm just going to build four in each of these at the top of the queue. Okay. I know that we don't necessarily need them in... Actually, we don't need them in two of these locations, do we? In Midlands and East Anglia, we absolutely do not need these. So we're not going to build them there. Yeah, those are not needed there. But they are needed in the Niger Delta and in Moonster. Okay. So that looks good. Less good is our deficit, but, I mean, we're heavily investing in war machine industries right now, right? And that's going to take a little bit to work our way through. And this is going to continue to be negative for a bit, because once we take this over, we're going to be building a lot of stuff here. So that's all going to be a bit. We're going to be running a deficit for some time. How long? I don't know. We'll see. We don't currently have much demand for War Machine Industries, of course. These produce tanks and aeroplanes, but currently only aeroplanes. What what tech do we need for tanks again? Uh, technology. That would be helpful. Mobile armor? Yeah, that requires concrete fortifications, so we could grab that after concrete fortifications. Something like this. Cool. So that'll be fine. No issue whatsoever there. What do we have currently being exposed, anyway? Destroyers? Sure. Absolutely nothing in production. Okay, that's fine. And in society, we have mass surveillance coming in. Okay. Uh, we don't really need taxation capacity, but whatever. That's fine. So our war machine industries are 24 weeks out from the first round of them hitting. That is, of course, not all being built at once, but that is most of them being built at once. I'm hoping that this war will be over by the time the war machine industries are. Russia just bailed. Okay. We don't need Herbert Kitchener. We don't need Malcolm Hume Campbell. We don't need Robert Baden-Powell. We do not need... Who is this? Lawrence Morham? Yep, we do not need him. And we do not need Wellwood Peaks. So we're demobilizing them early, and we're just keeping the units that we have here. That'll be sufficient. With Russia out of this war, we can start downsizing our military, and that is great. This is almost 25% of our current deficit, so we would be delighted to do that. We could also consider swapping now over to aerial reconnaissance, but we have no airplane no airplane production at all. So airplanes are actually incredibly... Well, there aren't any. There are no airplanes. So there's no point in doing this at this moment until we finish these war machine industries in 20 weeks. So we'll get that done as soon as we can, and it's still going to be a bit of a grind to grind through Persia here. That said, they're really close to giving up. But it's going to be a bit tough to grind through the mountains. That's for sure. Hello, politics. I did not mean to open you. Hitting escape, but I hit F1 instead. Fantastic. So that is fine, of course. We're going to finish this up, and this war will be over very shortly. Which makes me wonder if we should have demobilized. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have. I don't think it really matters all that much, though. They would now accept this peace deal. So that does mean that we demobilized a little too early. I expected that to be a longer grind, for sure. 
So that would be fine. We could certainly build ports here. We'll get those queued up. That'll be fine. And agriculture is something we'll come back to. For the time being, we definitely want to build whatever logging camps we can. Which is six of them. Okay. We can build iron mines. A decent amount of them in Isfahan. And that's it. We can build some lead mines in Isfahan as well. And then coal mines, also in Isfahan. And we can build some coal mines in Mazandaran as well. There we go. Cool. So that's absolutely fine. Now we can think about agriculture. So opium would not be a bad idea here, actually. I think we build opium. And then that's the only place we can build opium. So the other options are wheat and livestock. Livestock is making... Let's sort by earnings here. 1.19 at the top. 1.66 for wheat. Okay, we're going to make wheat. There we go. So we're going to get some wheat production going there. That's fine. And that is, of course, going to be a little bit on the construction front. I do want to remove those ports. The ports... Well, I don't want to remove them. I want to de-emphasize them. The ports are a lower priority. Absolutely. So we'll do something along the lines of that. We should also check in on infrastructure in these regions. Azerbaijan needs one for sure. Adana does as well. Rift Valley needs one. But otherwise, that looks good. Okay. Excellent. So that's all queued up. We have War Machines going to be finishing up in 13 weeks here. I don't think we're going to go back to war. Oh, we need to... Reset production methods. And we need to get these being integrated as well. So we'll incorporate the state here. Magnificent. So we see we're at minus 1,000 bureaucracy right now. That number is probably going to keep going up. So we're going to need some additional bureaucracy. Where do we want to build some government administrations? Aleppo would be an okay place to build them. So we're going to take this up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to bring that to 21, 31, 41, 51. Beautiful. I'm going to do the same in Syria. So we're going to bring this up to 8. And then 38. There we go. In Tabriz, we're going to need 41 of them. In Yemen, 41 of them. And 41 of them here as well. Now, this is not going to be, you know, great. That's for sure. That's going to be pretty expensive. No doubt about that. Yeah, for the time being, we'll leave that be. I'm not going to move them up. We're negative in our bureaucracy. That's okay for right now. We have 75 weeks in this construction queue, allegedly. We'll see how real that is, but I want to get these war machines finished up because we're going to need to move our conscription centers right now. We can do that for sure. We're not conscripting anybody at this moment. We should definitely make sure that everything, every railway is subsidized. That's definitely a thing that we want at this moment. And we can move over to aerial reconnaissance for our barracks, but that is definitely going to create us a shortage of aeroplanes. We know that. We're working on it. That's okay. So that's fine. For the time being, I'm going to chill. We're not going to go back to war immediately because I want to deal with this deficit. That's definitely something that we're going to have to handle. Railways are going to be finishing up in two weeks. That is good. Yeah, we've got all these war machine industries here that we still need to work our way through. And then we've got all of this stuff, right? And that's relatively low construction efficiency, but we will work on bringing that back up. Cool. And our radicalism is going to be trending downward, of course, over time. So that's all great. 122 million loyalists right now. That's insane. That is insane. It is literally half of the country. Over half of the country that is a loyalist right now. I love it. So I do want to move up some of these government administrations. I want to find some, yeah, like this, that don't have any reduced construction efficiency. So, government administrations are producing how much each right now? That is, of course, in here. 100 bureaucracy. Okay, so we need to move up like 12 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that's just to offset our bureaucracy differential here. That's the entire goal there. 
Destroyers have been unlocked. Okay, we can definitely run destroyers. Consider that done. Beautiful. So, these government administrations are 13 weeks out. Our first war machines are going to start coming online in four weeks. So that, of course, means that we're going to get rid of this aeroplanes shortage. And we're going to start driving down the price of aeroplanes, which is absolutely great. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of them finishing in three weeks. That's excellent. This is claiming 64 weeks to finish our construction queue. I don't know if that's true. Maybe. We're definitely chilling at 1.8 billion GDP. And I'd like to find some oil in some of these new areas, but we'll see if that ends up happening. That's kind of RNG. What's going on over here? Austria and the Han Uprising. Okay. Well, have fun with that, Austria. For the time being, I definitely do want to deal with this deficit. I don't want to go to war with this deficit hanging over us, so that's not something that I want to deal with. War machine industries are definitely finishing up there. And yeah, just like that, aeroplanes are no longer expensive. Beautiful. We do have some market access issues. We have a railway in Rift Valley, Adana, and Azerbaijan already being worked on. We probably could use more, though. Yeah, Niger Delta, we can definitely use two. So we'll get those going right away. And then in Aleppo... No, not Adana. That moved on me. Okay. Yeah, I want that. There we go. So that's all fine. We'll get a couple more railways underway here. And our first round of government administrations, which are not actually going to bring us positive on our bureaucracy, but our first round of government administrations are going to be finishing up in five weeks here. We're not surprised that that's not going to bring us positive, for the record. We do need to deal with this revolt. So we'll mobilize this guy. And there we go. That's dealt with. No real problem whatsoever there. So what are we spending our money on? Well, it's pretty much on government wages and military buildings. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not shocked about that. one. We're going to see our bureaucracy continuing to dwindle over time. So we're probably going to continue to move up like 10 government administrations at a time or so. There is a proletarian diplomatic play against us somewhere as well. The Nicaragua front. Okay, that's exciting. We haven't had anything happening out over here yet. So we'll just head on over there. That's no problem. We'll get that handled. So those government administrations are done, and we're going to start seeing our bureaucracy come up markedly, but it's not going to go positive yet. That is relatively expected. Are we working on all of our remaining war machines? Yes, we are. Magnificent. Okay, I'm going to move up a few additional government administrations here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That'll do. And also, we've got these ports. I want to continue to de-emphasize them. Okay. There we go. That'll be absolutely fine for the moment. Beautiful. We're probably going to need more railways as we continue to work through this. This is not in the slightest surprising. But we're going to continue to see our bureaucracy dwindle here. We're definitely running a big old deficit right now. That's not surprising. We could largely fix it by raising our taxes one level. I would rather not, because I don't want to have any issues here. I want to continue to work down our radicalism here, and that is definitely coming down. So that's very good to see. 134 million loyalists now. That number is insane. So we can see where our radicalism is. Yeah, it's the, it's the place we just conquered. We can see where our loyalists are everywhere except the place we just conquered. That's okay. We fully expect this. So our war machines are going to be done in about 14 weeks overall. That looks great. Iron and wood are currently expensive. We are making some logging camps, but we're making a good amount of iron mines. So that's great. We definitely want to get access to more of that. And overall, there's not all that much in this construction queue. So that seems relatively okay. 
Our infamy is really high, and it's probably going to remain really high forever from here on out. Uh, no. Let's not build that pipeline. Okay, so that all sounds absolutely great. War with the Peasant Revolt over here has broken out. And now, of course, we have War Among the Clouds finishing up. And we have Destroyers as well. So minus 10% Convoys requirement or plus 10% Navy defense, we'll take that. We've got so many Convoys. I, I don't care about not Convoy requirements. 30 Army Offense or 30 Popularity. Okay. We'll get the Army Offense, I guess. That'll be fine. There's another proletarian diplomatic play against us. It seems ambitious. I don't think we can get to this front. But we'll see. Once we're done with the peasant revolt over here, we just want to make sure that this doesn't kick us out and have to na be naval invaded again. That would be problematic. So we'll look to prefer to not have that. Yeah, this front is currently vulnerable. Okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, so let's just wrap this up. This is fine. I'm not concerned about it. This is not a real vulnerable front. It's a fake vulnerable front. We'll get there. Excellent. Shockingly enough, this front is actually being advanced. And these guys capitulate. Perfect. So we move on over, and there we are. Wonderful. As I said, no problem whatsoever. This is already dealt with. Cool. Fireside chats. Well, we could get some authority, or we could get interest group approval from the armed forces. We'll take the authority, because that will allow us to put in another consumption tax, this time on glass. Cool. So that looks absolutely great. We're going to wrap up this small war over here, which of course hasn't started yet. It will soon. Nobody's going to actually interfere in it. Out of curiosity... Okay, 54,000. Yeah, that's a little bit much. And keep in mind, we could scale this army so much higher. We have so many opportunities to scale this army. And we could even fund it by cranking our taxes. It would be insane. But we could do it. There's not a need to. That's true. There definitely isn't a need to. But we could do it. I don't... I don't think we should. I do not think that we should do that. I think that we should be content with our military where it's at right now, where we can just completely demolish anyone we choose to. Yeah, I am i don't think there's any need to make our military stronger. We should focus on our economy instead. So we're working on these iron mines now. The war machine industries are now complete. The French Republic sided with the Philippine proletarian revolt. Well, have fun with that, France and Spain. I'm sure they'll be okay. And we are, of course, going to finish up these fronts very quickly. That's not going to be a problem at all. We've already seen our deficit be cut by about a quarter. And that's with our construction still going full bore. I'm actually quite pleased with this. It's going very well. I like it. We do need to get that deficit dealt with, of course. But for right now, I'm more interested in getting the Radicals handled. I did see this number just tick upward. But I think overall it's heading down. So that should be fine. We probably need more railways. Yep, we could use three in Munster, one in Mozambique, one in Kasai, and one being built already in Guinea. Cool. We'll probably end up needing railways up here in this area as we continue to develop it. But for now, we don't need that at all. Capitulation. Excellent. So that would have been these guys. Yeah, that's fine. And we're, of course, just fighting over here. This is no big deal either. Mass surveillance has been unlocked. Cool. So that's all fine. And yeah, all of these are in our newly conquered areas. Their standard of living is going to be raised up. Electricity was briefly expensive there. There's a proletarian revolt over here, and we'll deal with those once we're done with this one, I guess. That's fine. Not a big deal. Allegedly 60 weeks left in this construction queue. Again, I'm not sure how much I believe that. It's going to be a bit to get all this done. 
not too bad, but it's going to be a little while, for sure. We definitely want to get these iron mines online. Iron is still considered expensive. Has that price been trending downward? Not really. So I'm guessing that our production of it over here isn't really online yet. No, it's fully employed. Okay. Interesting. So our religious revolt is now over. And I want to move this guy over to this front if we can reach it. And yeah, we can. So that's perfect. I think. Okay. So that looks fine for the time being. For now, though, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to finish up a bunch of this construction in Persia. And we're probably going to think about further expansion beyond that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.